Hi everybody, it's Nunu and my purpose in this video is to go over the directions for our final work, using autobiography to build a story, but not your story. All right, let's survey this assignment together. Below the click here icon, we have our discussion essay rubric. This is how I evaluate this assignment. We have three texts uh, with which you're familiar by this time, but I've included them in case you want to review uh, the narrator type you might want to use and how to structure your story. Uh, we have an overview uh, that lets you know that if you cannot complete part one, which is our three to five page story by its Friday, June 4th due date, or you cannot uh, complete part two, which is uh, the pair evaluations by the Sunday, June 6th due date, come over here to inbox, let me know what's up, and uh, we'll try to work out a timeline for you, uh, find out uh, what we can do to make this assignment work for you. All right. Um, so a little bit about um, these uh, directions here and what's important for you to remember. And it's this, you're using autobiography to build a story, but not your story. This story is not about you. You're using details from your life uh, to give your story verisimilitude, uh, truthfulness, uh, to help the reader relate um, to the character and characters in the story and the situation, all right? So that's super important. Remember, you're not writing about yourself. Um, and it's so easy to write about ourselves, and then we become mired down in our story and not somebody else's. Okay, uh, so this is all super important, okay? Verisimilitude, here is the definition right here, if you want to click on it. And you know what? Let's go ahead and click on it. The quality or state of being verisimilar. Well, that doesn't tell us much, so let's click on this. And having the appearance of truth, depicting realism as an art or literature. And that's what we're using your autobiography for. Uh, biographical details to make your story real, um, to make uh, your readers relate to uh, your protagonist in the situation. All right, I'll stop talking. I have a feeling I'm repeating myself. Uh, let's have fun.